Mr. Pendlebury's down. <laughs> we'll be right over. Yeah, Hernandez. Oh shit. Here we go again. Hi there YouTube and welcome to Tech Cravers. So I asked you on my community page what type of content you wanted and a vast majority of you wanted a PS3 showcase video. You won't get that today but I have plans for it so make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you don't miss it. Instead in this video I'm gonna show you some of my absolute favorites from the PS2 era of games. All of these games are running on the PC SX2 emulator that I've already shown you how to install through emudec.com in an earlier video. I haven't changed any settings at all and 99% of the games will run buttery smooth without any tweaks. As a matter of fact, I think I'm gonna go ahead and crown the Steam Deck as the absolute best way to enjoy PlayStation 2 games in 2022. Now let me show you why. First off is a true Rockstar classic, the misunderstood action game Bully. Bully was designed to be a less violent and more accessible version of the Grand Theft Auto franchise, but it ended up causing just as much if not more controversy as the Rockstar iconic heist series. But that's another story. All you have to know is that it runs flawless on the Steam Deck. Careful around the prefects, they don't have much of a sense of humor. I can't believe my mom will let me have sugar because this feels awesome! Look at the cool guy! Why do I get so nervous about that boy? I hope Dr. Christ is Forget so about me. I'll you can't do anything right. Body, so. Way to go, jerk! I haven't told him. Go! <laughs> See what she wants! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Hey. Oh my god! <laughs> he took my chocolate! Please get it back! There he is. All right. Oh, so you want to scrap? I'm the dad. <laughs> Next up is one of the most iconic racing games ever made, Gran Turismo 4. And I feel like I'm gonna overuse the term iconic, but please bear with me as pretty much all of these games could easily end up on any top list out there. Gran Turismo 4 is the fourth installment in the main Gran Turismo series and the sixth for the overall series. And while GT4 wasn't the massive leap from GT3 that some were expecting, the sheer depth and variety of cars and tracks paired with great physic models and outstanding extras made it by far the best car game available back then. We might as well do another racing game right up. This is Need for Speed Underground 2. I'm usually not that much into racing games, but this game I really loved and played a lot. It had everything. Awesome street vibes, great music, customizable cars, neon lights, dynamic weather, you name it. Now, off to a game series that I don't think needs any explanation at all. Grand Theft Auto 3, Grand Theft Auto Vice City and Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. All of which works absolutely perfect on Steam Deck. This is Hit Radio, Love Media Station. Just one of 900 radio stations, 300 TV stations, 4 networks, 3 satellites, 10 centers. Liberty. 
Liberty City for 60 years. Now, DJ Michael Hunt taking you through another set of nuts. Hey, look, but don't touch. Interrupt your programming with a message from the State Department. All bridges and some roads in the Vice City metropolitan area have been closed because of a severe weather warning. Meteorologists are tracking Hurricane Hermione, which has devastated. IDF for Florida. I'm a patriot. I've even got an orange grove tattooed all over my groin. Hey, what's up, y'all? Look who I found hanging around. Carl, hey, good to see you. I can't believe she gone, man. That's another funeral you ran away from, fool. Just like Brian's. Hey, she was my mama too. Not for the past five years she wasn't, nigga. And where the fuck you think you going? What? Get out my face. I'm going to see Caesar. The hell you are, girl. You ain't messing with all of my lead. Wait. 10 million? I'm gonna bite my ass for 10 million. Take your back some, huh, CJ? Yeah. Things has changed around here. CJ, watch your back around here, man. How I get so bad? I thought this was family's turf. Yeah, it's Temple Drive family. We don't grow with this no more. Oh! Ooh! Ooh! East Coast got you all thinned out, home. Move it, CJ. You embarrassing us, nigga. Come on, CJ. You can't keep up with the fat man. I got with them motherfuckers, though. Sold them niggas who's gangster. Ride a nigga. So when you leaving, Carl? I ain't sure. Thought I might stay. Things is fucked up. Well, the last thing we need is your help. Ah, man, I won't let you down. Next up is one of the absolute best FPSs from the era, Killzone by Guerrilla Games. Guerrilla Games later went on to make the Horizon Zero Dawn for PS4 and just recently Horizon Forbidden West for PS5. Killzone was extremely cool when it came out and the Hellgast soldiers with their red eyes really left me terrified as a kid. But I still really love the game and all its sequels. Probably one of the best platformers from the time is the third person action adventure Ratchet and Clank Up Your Arsenal, or Ratchet and Clank 3 as it was named in Europe. Not much to say about this game other than it's addictively fun and runs great on Steam Deck. Hey Sarge, you can have my gun. There's too many of them. We're all gonna die! Press circle to fire your shot blaster. Special training. 
Resident Evil 4 was a game that I was way too scared to play back then, but I watched from behind a pillow as my friend played through basically the whole game on his GameCube. While testing this I struggle with the controls, but that's because I suck at the game and nothing else. Nonetheless, it feels great that I will now be able to play through it myself while chilling in my hammock this summer. You are a long way from home, cowboy. You have my sympathies. Guess that's a local's way of breaking the ice. Freeze! I said freeze! Shadow of the Colossus is regarded as an influential title in the game industry and as an important example of computer games as an art form due to its minimalist landscape, immersive gameplay and emotional journey. It really makes me happy to see how good this game runs even though I have the remake on my PS5 as well. Listening to Radio Big. I'm rounding up these tests with two of my favorite sports games from the time, SSX3 from EA Sports and Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3 from Neversoft, which by the way sadly was the last good Tony Hawk game if you ask me. SSX3 as I'm playing here however actually surprised me by being the worst gaming experience from all of my PS2 gaming tests. It stutters some as you will see later but it's still playable. Keep in mind though that as I mentioned in the beginning I haven't tweaked any settings in the emulator so it's probably just something I need to tweak to get this running flawless. You're with Radio Big. All right, here's some tunage for all those out there carving it up.
that's been it for this PS2 showcase video on my Steam Deck. If you want to know how to install emulators and add retro games to your Steam Deck, I have a tutorial up on that on my channel as well. If you liked this video, please make sure to leave a thumbs up or a comment to let me know, and consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.